6,289 people in the crowd for that one. I suppose, Pat, tonight as well, for the likes of the, the young lads I was talking there and the Tottenham team about, Josh Anoma, uh, Georges and Kudu, a chance for them to show the manager maybe what they can do ahead of the domestic season. Yeah, of course it is. And like I say, you know, the manager may be looking to bring players in, but he also may feel that he's got some young boys that are ready to step up to the plate. And this gives them a great opportunity where they're playing against real quality opposition. And if they can perform at this level against quality teams like Paris Saint-Germain, well then, you know, he might have to dip into the transfer market. He doesn't like changing the squad. He is Brazilian, although he's been capped by Italy. And as you can see, Trap is back in goal for PSG for this one. And Cavani. Big number nine from Uruguay will start up front. Lots of substitutes for these games. Uh, it's uh, pretty much take your pick when it comes to substitutions in these games. Pastore and Guedes, either side of Cavani in attack. And Alves there in his usual position uh, right back. Kevin Trapp, the uh, German. Just one international cap, but he's a, a talented goalkeeper as well. There's the uh, Tottenham starting 11. And a few less familiar names, as we were saying. And I think it would take me till half time to name all those substitutes, Pat. <laughs> There's certainly a lot of them there. And like you say, he, he's picked a, a young enough team, but the central core of it is still fairly strong. Lloris, Vertonghen, Dembele, Dyer, Eriksen, and even Jan Janssen to a point. Harry yeah. Kane obviously would start normally, but strong down the middle. He's gone for a little bit of youth in the wide areas and full-back areas, which would be interesting to see. Referee, Ted Uncle, gets us. Krasawa. Good ball by Krasawa to Rabio and a chance here for Paris Saint-Germain. Cavani in the centre, and it's 1-0. Flag stays down, goal counts, and Paris Saint-Germain lead after just five and a half minutes. And it's that man, Edison Cavani. Rabio with the break. And a clinical finish from the Uruguayan. Yes, yeah, good finish, Rabio, like you said, did really well because he held the play, held the ball for a time that he's going to play into Cavani's path. Here you see a great little play at the back, nice and confident in their own 18-yard box, pop it around, get it out wide. I think it's... it's it's the other centre half, it's Carton Vickers, dives in a little bit there, gets caught out, and he's here, right? He just waits and waits. Great way to pass, and he's not going to miss from there, Cavani. No chance for Loris. Cavani from nine yards out, stroking it home for his first goal of the season. His strike rate last season was extraordinary in 36 league matches. Could be at times to just drop off and let them have possession. Let's see if they can do with this one now. Shot from distance, oh what a goal! And what an equaliser for Tottenham! Out of nothing! An absolute doozy! Oh well, some strike from Ericsson, I just spoke about him saying he is a quality player for him, I loved watching him last year, I thought, I thought he was player of the year to be honest in the league, and I was different class, and here you see, I'm not sure that this takes a little deflection on its way in, but again, good build up play from Tottenham, keep the ball, start to sloppy, but here you see Ericsson just stepping in, Looking forward, and it's a fantastic oh. strike. There's no stopping that. See it here. I don't think it did. I think it just looped up and over the keeper. Maybe caught the underside of the crossbar on its way in. You see it here. Fantastic strike from Ericsson. Yeah, just hits the underneath of the crossbar and a brilliant goal. That was worth the admission money alone. What a strike from Christian Ericsson. Back to Lo Celso. His ball to Cavani is a peach. Maurice doing just enough, but still there for PSG, and it's over the bar from Pastore. Chance? Yeah, it was a chance. Lloris did really well. Red one for in truth to Cavani. Here's he takes on his chest. Keepers out, gets a hand to it. Doesn't go too far. And it's a decent chance. It's two or three Tottenham players and a goalkeeper between, you know, him. Back to his uh, goalkeeper. Oh, and it's gone into the net. What a calamity for PSG. We were talking, Pat about how casual both teams have been actually at times at the back. That is just, we've seen a brilliant goal from Tottenham and now we've seen a, an absolute joke of a goal, but they'll take them all. Well, I've well, said earlier on, Trap, they, they obviously have real confidence in him because everything is passed back to him. Normally there, he's under pressure, you just put your boot through, here you see it, pass back, clear your lines, there's nothing on, tries to play a ball through, and that's a sitting midfielder pressing the ball for Tottenham. Dyer, I think, 
but this one's just got to go up the pitch. I know they want to play, but at times there's a place and a time. <laughs> that was ridiculous. He, he, he won't get an easier goal than that, or <laughs> Eric Dyer with a big smile on his face. And why? <laughs> it's two one for Tottenham. Two one. Pastore. The corner and the header on target. Easy enough save for Lloris in the end. Yeah, it's a great ball in from Pastore into the box with his right foot. Great ball in and a good header as well. Gets it on target. It's Cavani again. They should build up play from top and the ball finds its way across. The flag is stayed down and that's an unbelievably cheeky effort. Eventually the goalkeeper Trapp is able to save but I must say I thought Ben Davies was offside there. Yeah, he looked at, he liked to see it from the other angle, but luckily he looked off. So a great little back heel, I think it's from Ben Davies. Yeah. First half here. That's PSG. Press for more. And look at the space here for Pastore in the box. And it must be. It is. It's an equalizer. It's 2-2. Pastore, the equalizer for PSG. Yeah, it's a How great. How do you have that much space, Pat? It's a great finish, but the defending has been dreadful from both teams, to be fair. It's uh, he still has a little bit to do, but like you say, he's in acres of space there. I don't know where uh, Walker Peters is. He's obviously high up the park, steps inside, and just bends it into the top corner. Look, you say, he's got acres of space here. Doesn't rush it, takes his time, gets it onto his right foot and just curls it into the top corner. Great finish from Pastore. In the 36 minutes. 36 minutes in, and it's already 2-2. Very composed finish from him, all right, wasn't it, uh, Pastore? Yeah, but like you say, a lot of space on that right, on that right back. Experience full back, as Pat's saying there. Chance for Spurs, maybe, for the break. Good delivery into the box, and it's Fred! Ooh, that was close. It's gone for a corner kick. It might have come off one of the defenders' heads. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought a Tottenham player had that, but it was great ball in again. Is a Tottenham player, is it? I think it might have been Mata. National on for this second half. Ready. The ball played towards Trapp, he's handed the ball outside the box there. And what does the referee do here? Well, it looks like he's going for the red card. Indeed he has. Trapp, well, it's just not his night really, is he's it? He's just had one of them nights, hasn't he? And he knows he's looking to this guy saying, what am I doing? I don't, I, I, I don't know why he's, he's coming out that far, because the ball has loads of pace on it. It's going to get to him. It doesn't. It, it, it's not stopping that he's got to come out to the edge of the box. But he finds himself in no man's land. Then obviously he thinks he's still in the box. Puts his hand up and stops it. And Harry Kane thinks I'm only on a couple of seconds here and I've got a chance of scoring. But that, that's going to run through to him. He doesn't need to be where he is. Positional sense, very poor. And again, you know, it is a friendly, but the referee doesn't have much choice here. I think I don't think Bart to send him off. Well, handle it with both hands. Yeah. <laughs> For good measure, yeah. Um, yeah, I think the referee, Ted Uncle, was left with no. Alphonse Ariola, he actually started the game against Roma during the week. Yeah, I don't know why he's there because, like I said, there's loads of pace in that ball from uh, Alderweireld. It's going to run through to him and just finds him something right in the edge of the box. And they've got loads of players, Kane and Eriksson, around. It, I think at the moment. And we've seen what Eriksson can do in the first half, and his confidence is high. He strikes it, and already Ariola Davies opted inside, and here's Eriksson a chance to shoot again. He hits the tar. Oh, it's just off target. Yeah, been impressed with but Davis tonight. I think he's been very good in that left back position. Got himself forward, has defended well, and again into that man, Eriksson. Great ball into him, and here you see a good touch. And he has his keeper scrambling here, and it's not too far away again from Eriksson. Well, he's already scored one absolute belter tonight, Christian Eriksson. That was not too far up. Is it back to Winks? Now Wanyama. Shot from distance, and it's a fine goal by Aldo Virel. We've seen some cracking goals here tonight, and that's another, and Tottenham lead by three goals to two. Yeah, and he has got that in his locker, like you say. Patient build-up, playing the left-hand side. You know, a few short passes, Davis, Deli Alley into Eriksson, back out. And like you say, I think there's a little ball from Wanyama into Aldo Virel, and he hits it. Fantastic strike. Not quite as good as Eriksson. You see here, little play, little link-up. He winks in, into Wanyama, strolls up from the back and puts his right foot through it. And here you see it from behind the goal. Fantastic strike. Goalkeeper might be a little bit disappointed he didn't save that, but it is a fantastic strike from Oliver Hill. 
centre half who doesn't score too many goals he only got one in the league last season for Tottenham but that evidence of what he's capable of the man from Antwerp and if that does prove to be the winner scored that all important third goal good ball by Davies proclaiming for a handball and the referee is going to point to the spot eventually yeah I think the linesman is the one I, think, I don't think the referee has seen it but I think the linesman has been flagging there since the ball went across and Kane will get a chance to open his account obviously um, I think they're complaining that his hands are down here oh, it's before this I think he's definitely not for that it's for the switch of play yeah. to the far side I don't think it is for this no that's just a, a block with his foot I think it's from the ball that was switched out wide to, to Paris Saint-Germain's left hand side the defender Marquinhos shakes his head I think they will claim that they were very close to the Tottenham player when he struck the ball in the box but Ariola is going to face Harry Kane Harry Kane uh, scored five penalties for Tottenham last season in those 29 goals. So what's the betting here, Pat? Does he make it 4-2? Yeah, I think so. It's been he's uh, he, like you say, he hasn't had a lot of the ball tonight since he's come on at half time. But and yeah, the keeper's made some good saves as well so far. So we had fancy Kane from there. Three minutes to go in Orlando. Chance for Harry Kane to make it 4-2. Oh, Harry Kane fires it to the roof of the net. 4-2 for Tottenham. And that is surely game set a match. Yeah, he didn't take any chances there. He just put the ball down, down, put his laces through, smashed it down the middle of the goal. Keeper, no chance. And Tottenham fans in the crowd, very happy. Here you see it straight down the middle. Oh, just power, pace. Keeper stays where he is. He saves it, but he's just taking a little guess to his left-hand side. But real venom in that shot from Hardy Kane. And like all strikers, I know it's only a friendly, but get off the mark get your goal get going again it's just repetitive the more goals you score that confidence is there all the time you